Hey guys, welcome back and great to have you on board for another episode of Nitro Nights with me, Tom Deacon. Now the team and I bring you three shows a week, one on a Monday, one on a Wednesday and one on a Friday. If you're a regular, great to have you back. And if you're a newbie, well, this is what happens. We have a guest on every single show talking about everything involved in esports racing. Today is no different. Let me tell you what's happening. Uh, we'll have a news flash. Uh, then we'll have Ayan Chan Guven joining us. We'll have quick fire questions. Plus, we'll be talking about the Turkish esports racing scene. That's all on the way. Make sure, though, you're subscribing to the channel and following us on Twitter so you stay up to date with everything. Uh, also, I was going to do a spot the difference, but I'll just tell you a uh, brand new pair of glasses. Why? Uh, well, I left my other pair at the Chinese Virtual Grand Prix, but don't worry, I'll get them back uh, on Wednesday. Uh, listen, here we go then. Let's get straight into the news flash. And we do start with the Virtual Grand Prix. Now, it took place in the Shanghai International Circuit, a star studded lineup of seven current F1 drivers uh, taking to the Sims. There was also two debut drivers, uh, Carlos Sainz and Juan Manuel Correa. Uh, they made their debuts and they didn't do too badly, apart from Carlos Sainz going into the wall at one point. So did Charles Leclerc get two wins out of two? Well, he did. Of course he did. The Ferrari driver getting another win. Here's what it looked like when he crossed the line. Last week, it was utterly dominant stuff from Charles Leclerc. He was a class above everyone else. Today, Alexander Albon made it past lap one facing in the right direction and has applied the pressure all the time. But the outcome is going to be absolutely identical. He has taken pole and he is one corner away from converting it into another superb victory. He can see the checkered flag. The Monogas driver comes downhill and Charles Leclerc wins the virtual Grand Prix of China. Oh my God, I sweated so much. Oh, that was intense, guys. <laughs> Intense indeed. Uh, sweating was Charles Leclerc. Um, obviously, he said after the race uh, in winning, um, he said it's a very different celebrating. Switching off the computer and going to cook pasta is less glamorous uh, than spraying champagne on the podium. But nonetheless, we appreciated his efforts. Uh, there was an aggressive overtake on Alex Albon. Uh, some people said it was a bit suspect on Twitter. However, uh, third place, I should just uh, bring you up to speed. Guan Yo Joe finished third. Uh, that's three podiums now for him. But the team chat from Red Bull, uh, Thibaut Courtois, allowing Alex Albon to overtake him and then holding off Charles Leclerc. This is what was said. Longer into the next corner. Fight, 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 fight. I'll break him, I'll break him. Yeah, he passed me. I don't want to go there. All good, all good, all good. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Some cheeky tactics being used by the Red Bull team. Great to have Thibaut Courtois, uh, a professional footballer playing for Real Madrid and Belgium. Uh, he was taking part and he had a bit of sportsmanship there, not making sure he held up Charles Leclerc longer than he had to. Uh, now, the next Grand Prix could be taking place in Japan, Brazil or the Circuit of Americas or even Mexico. So watch this space to see where we head for that. Uh, also in the pro exhibition race, that's the F1 Esports Pro Drivers Racing. It was a return to winning ways for Brendan Lee, the two-time former champ. Uh, he held off Rasmussen to claim the win. So well done to him. Uh, moving on, the ABB Formula E race at home challenge in support of UNICEF. It happened and the one word to describe it is chaotic. Uh, in the first lap, uh, collisions left, right and centre. It was the polar opposite of a minimal contact race. Uh, commentators even saying at one point, I believe Jack Nichols did, uh, he had no words for the driving at times. But listen, Max Gunther, congratulations to him. He finished first. Stoffel van Dorn in second and Andre Lotterer in third. Let's hope the next race, if there is one, will be a lot cleaner. Now, we've said often in Nitro Nights that sim racers are leading the way over the pros, and it is staying that way in the race leaderboard for the All-Star Tournament. As you can see, uh, Hannah Jowski in first, Vineski in second, and Bono Huis, who also was in the Pro Exhibition Virtual Grand Prix in China, is in third. That is above the pros. Will that stay that way? Mm, we will find out. And finally, moving on to the Porsche Mobile One Super Cup Virtual Edition. Wowzers. At rounds one and two, we're in Barcelona. We move to Silverstone for rounds three and four. The current leaders, Larry Tenvorda and Erchan er Guvan, were at the moment one and two. And it came down to the third race, final lap. This is what happened. Was there enough room, in your opinion, for an overtake? 
He will stay in front for the last job, two. Great job, <laughs> Oh! Oh, it's contact between the two of them. Ten Vorder has been spun around. He was a bit slow into the complex and it's given Ayachan Guven the race victory. But I think the race stewards will be looking at that. Contact between our leading contenders. It was so good. It was so clean up until that point. And Ten Goot, look at that. Side by side. There you go. Was there enough room for an undertake there? Oh, well, I'll find out when I chat to Guvan uh, on Nitro Nights. Now, when we moved into the fourth race, wowzers, did this battle hot up. A proper ding-dong between Guvan on pole and Larry Tenvorda. For the whole race, there was one switch at one point, but then it all came down to someone in the back marker. I believe it was Lap Van Lagen who spun out, meaning that Guvan had to go round him to make sure he didn't crash out of the race, meaning Larry Tenvorda won. This this is what happened. Probably one or two spots to, to go for it. That's Stowe uh, with a bit of luck, but uh, uh, also the last chicane where he can uh, try another one to, to, to uh, Ten Forder can, can try to overtake Guven once again. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Spinner! And where's, where's Guven gone? Where's Guven gone? Oh. He had to back out of it and he's allowed Ten Vorder through. L and I think. And you did slow he get to slow down as well because he had to go so wide? What drama on the last lap there. And it was Jan Van Lagen, I think, who spun. Yeah, Van Lagen, look at him. Woo! That was close. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, a fantastic uh, climax to a race. I strongly advise you go back and watch it almost and actually probably better than the Jensen Button over Jan Magnussen. That was on the Legends race. Brilliant races coming to the end. Uh, but there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of the newsflash for today. Uh, stay tuned for the interview with Ayan Chan Guven.